Automation is playing a critical and evolving role in the telecommunications industry. And here to discuss its importance is Stefano Capri, Senior Director of the OSS Portfolio and Automation and Worldwide Leader at HPE. Stefano, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. So what is your perspective on the importance of automation to both CSPs and to the telco industry at large? Yeah, there are a lot of expression around the uh, automation in general, right? If you walk uh, through our booth or any stand here, automation is, as you said, an evolving theme. Last year was one of the most uh, um, clicked uh, topic, right? Everybody was talking about automation. There are a lot of expectations around automation. The network is evolving. There are new complexities in the network because of the, the disaggregation of the radio access on the core. And automation is promising a lot of advantages in terms of cost avoidance, or at least reducing the cost of operations by enabling a, a, a more agile time to market, and also by enabling a more, I would say, advanced customer experience, right? There are lots of uh, complexity because of the new layer of the disaggregation, but also new availability of data and data sources, right? If you can uh, extract the value of those data, you can have a lot of information coming from those information and then a lot of insights that the customers can play around them. So definitely is a theme that, uh, from an HP point of view, is a key in our agenda, it's a high priority. We need to look at automation and end-to-end -end and holistic view, from, of course, being open in a multi-vendor, multi-technology, but also in a full life cycle of Nexo services. The time you design the service, the time you deploy the service, the time you operate the service. Automation is a full end-to-end -end theme, in our point of view. Can you tell us more about the OSS portfolio and the capabilities of automation at HPE? Sure. So automation, as I said, uh, is looking at the network operation, how we can uh, enable network operation guys to work better, and a network engineer, network planning for both core and access, different domain. So we've been doing automation since many years. Automation has been there in the industry. Also, when you do alarms and events correlation, that is kind of static automation, but still provides value on the way that you automate the network by collecting different information, reduce the time to analyze that. With the advent of AI, ML technique, automations provide also ability to look into the metrics, not only alarms and events, but logs, telemetry information. As such, there's a lot of information you can extract from the metrics, right? For instance, you can look at, uh, at the different kind of performance indication, and then you can automate in terms of uh, shifting capacity into where network functions are degrading, or having poor performance and moving workloads into where capacity is needed. You can predict some outages in the network. You can forecast incidents. You can even uh, uh, discover new patterns of alarms thanks to AI ML, something a human being won't be able to do, right? Up to the point that, uh, as we announced this week, right, a run automation or telco core automations can provide self-feeling capability because you, you, you're unable to detect anomaly and you can remediate thanks to the network uh, automation software, something that might happen wrongly in the network. So you delegate to the software a lot of actions that before were, were set to the human being. What benefits do you think your clients will experience once they implement these solutions? Well, first of all, uh, I mean, uh, the two, the two top-notch of our solution is uh, automation that is a very use case focus. So in the radio access automation or in the telco core automation, the common theme is the fact that uh, we pre-integrate, we pre-define use cases, we integrate together assurance and orchestration. That is a top priority because the way that the network is designed and the, the way the network is monitored with a single tool will have one single UI that will provide the agility in the way the network uh, is configured, is deployed, is rolled out, and the way the network is monitored. So the key benefit is to have, uh, with a couple of clicks, ability to detect anomalies and to shift the workloads mm. to one VM, to another VM, to enlarge the Kubernetes value underneath, to predict the capacity degradation, that is a key advantage there, right? That, that is, of course, playing in a multi-vendor environment. So we are agnostic in terms of the domain, it can be radio access or core. For instance, when we launch run automation, what was important for us to look at also the infrastructure management. So how you automate the rollout of a different service in the different territories, and you have, how you can extract information from the metrics of the server up to the software that is sitting on top of the server at the edge device. Same in the telco core automation, right? Network functions, the way you design a network function, the way you monitor, you predict some degradation 
and you sell field rental functions with software is a key functionality that, of course, is an OPEX reduction kind of benefit, but also in, is a way to provide more agility and scalability in the go-to-market. Stefano, thank you for your insights. Well, 